trying to coach the best he could. Okay. We know uh, Coach is a fiery guy, but, but to, to the media, he's so jovial and so cordial and always has a smile on him. Behind these closed practices, how intense does he get? Uh, I think... <laughs> um, you could probably make a movie on him or something with how intense he is. Like, it's just like... I mean... You gotta love him, but you know, in here when we're really going, you know, hard to practice, he, he's the most intense of us all. Even if we went through a full scrimmage ready to fight our teammates, he's still the most intense of us, you know, of all of us. Because, you know, you're only as strong, you know, as your leader, really. We have a great leader in Coach Hamilton. He's really intense, so the intensity kind of starts now. You get the chance to play uh, all the D1 schools in the state. I know it's a pretty exciting opportunity for you guys. Um, how ready are you for that challenge? Because you probably know a bunch of the kids you're going to be playing against. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I think it's good for us um, because obviously there's some elite level programs in our state and you know the conference foes in our state. So I think it'll be a good test of where we're at completely with you know not only within our state but with at the national level because you know I mean with the Blue Blood School right down the road and then you know two other conference we yeah, two other conference teams. I think. And, yeah, sounds right. Yeah, sounds all right. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's a, uh, it's gonna be great. I think we're pretty ready as a team. Everybody's excited to get out and do that. What will that mean when you play against David Johnson at Louisville? Maybe to get some 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 payback. Uh, I wouldn't really call it payback. In high school, you know, it's a wholly different chapter now. Um, you know, I've always enjoyed playing against David. Uh, he's a great player. Uh, I think you know it would be an awesome experience in that playing against Louisville because you know, as a kid we all want to play against the Kentuckys and Louisville's so everything. So I think it would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Is last year last year, man? Is it is it you know to get so close many times and not you know to be able to to get over that hump? Is 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 that out of your mind or is that does that give you any type of of feeling in this year that hey I got I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna get me a chip uh, I mean it's it's obviously uh, sitting in the back of my mind all the time you know you can't just go two state titles and come up short and forget about it so it's a uh, it's just for me personally I feel like I just need to keep improving so that way and do more to help my team win a championship and starting off in the, you know the college level I would love nothing more than that win a conference championship. Now, I've been watching you since you were a freshman, and it, it seems like you improved. You all were, even in your freshman year, you were a standout player. But talk about the, the player we're going to see on the collegiate level um, that, we, that we always knew. Uh, you know, in high school, I was kind of the go-to and everything, always uh, one of the bigger kids on the floor at all the times. Um, but now, you know, Everybody's my size, not stronger, taller, bigger, faster than me. I'm never going to be the fastest anymore. I'm never going to be the strongest anymore. But, I mean, I can play the hardest. So you're going to see a kid that plays hard, you know, does what it takes for his team to win, whatever his team needs to win, whether that's grab 10 rebounds, whether that's take 10 charges, whether that's make 10 threes. I mean, I'll, I'll do whatever it takes. Now, my last question is about the, the guys that's coming in with you. You know, how, how big of an impact will, will, will you think you, uh, the new guys will make? Even you're not, not just freshmen, but the new guys coming into this program. Uh, I think we have an interesting mix of new guys. I think, you know, we have Ty Taylor, you know, a grad transfer. You know, you've got a seasoned guy, experienced, you know, not really, you know, he's not unfamiliar with the college level and the pace and everything, so he's ready for this. And then, you know, we've got a couple, you know, we've got a Juco guy in Shaw. Uh, you know, I think he's going to transition really well. He's a really, you know, very, very active, loud, for general. Um, you know, the other freshmen, I think everybody's transitioning well. I think we're building you know, a really great team that's not just going to be here for a season and go away. We're going to be around. I want to ask one more question, man, about the fans. You know, the coach had talked about, you know, you guys getting to almost a record level in ticket sales and that the fans are expecting some big things from you guys. Talk a little bit about that and, and the support that you guys have received. Uh, you know, I took... I came to three games last year, and two of the games were completely sold out. So uh, to see that was great in his first season, and to know that last year you know, we graduated one of the best players in his in school. Um, but we've also brought in you know one of the biggest classes in school history. We've also 
I got an NC State transfer who everybody's ready to see. Plus, everybody knows his style now, and everybody's excited to see what we got. Plus, you got a couple of hometown kids here, in Isaiah and myself, so, and Trey King even. So, I mean, we can put more people in these seats than ever before.